Hey guys, this is Mystical from a cup of death.com bringing you guys another video tutorial on recording your own gameplay. One of the most common questions we get sent to our YouTube channel pages inbox is how to how people that are wanting to get started in gameplay and different uh, routes that there are to take in order to do so. Uh, this is part of our series on you know showing people how to record their game playing stuff um, and today what we're going to talk about is PlayClaw 4. Uh, as you can see here this is the program loaded up. PlayClaw 4, uh, most of you or some of you might have heard of Fraps. Um, what it is is it is a screen uh, capturing software. Uh, Fraps captures everything on your screen so if you're playing a video game you can hit a button and it starts recording. Uh, the difference between Fraps and PlayClaw 4 is Fraps is very basic um, and the file sizes are extremely large especially if you're trying to record in 720p or 1080p uh, because there is absolutely no compression whatsoever. PlayClaw 4 you lose a touch of the quality uh, but you gain the advantage of having extremely small file sizes compared to that of Fraps and you also get a lot of other features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take you through a tour of PlayClaw 4 here and kind of you know explain to you why I feel this is the better choice. Uh, so this first one that's just your options button uh, for your licensing and stuff ins inserting all that nothing really too exciting there uh, and then under here this is all your capture settings you can take screenshots with this program and it saves it to whatever folder you know you can hit select and select what folder hit the open button it just opens that folder uh, so you can see I just have it saved to my pictures um, take the screenshot hotkey what that means is what key do you want to press on your keyboard in, in order to take a screenshot what image format whether you want it to be ping or JPEG or you can also enable the program to automatically take a screenshot every so often and you can set it to however many seconds you want. Um, really cool feature. Um, the second settings under the capture settings is for, of course for video. Again you have where you're going to store the videos that it records. I just have it uh, going to my videos folder and then you select your start, start and stop video hotkey. Uh, for me I have it set as home. You also have a stop and delete hotkey. I don't use that. Um, or the toggle pre-record hotkey. I don't have that bound right now, but I do use that, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, but I don't use stop and delete because there's no key that I want to hit that's going to stop the program and delete it. Because what I've done is I've accidentally hit the button at times and deleted a file that I did not want to delete. So I just start and stop it, and if I want to delete it, I do it outside of the program. So I just use the home button. Um, and then let me go ahead and talk about total or toggle pre-record hockey. What this does is, let's say we set this to my delete button, um, which I won't do now, but we'll set it to the delete button. Um, and then what that does is, let's say you're playing a game, right here you can set max pre-record buffer size, 10 seconds is what it's set at right now. Let's say I'm playing a game and I get an awesome kill, like I'm playing some Halo 4, there's an awesome kill that happens, and I haven't been recording. I can actually hit whatever key I have this pre-record hotkey set to, which like I said, if I had to set to delete, I could hit delete and it's going to start recording and it's going to record uh, starting back 10 seconds prior to when I hit the button. So if I miss something, I can hurry up and hit the delete button. It'll start recording it. Okay. Um, this video output target, this is where you want to save the file to. We're just going to save it on the hard disk drive. And this is your video file size, your FPS. You can set it up to 60 frames per second in PlayClaw. Um, resize frame, if you want to resize the frame, you can do that here. I just have it set at, you know, whatever size the game is. That's what it's set, you know, by do not change it, it records whatever the game's set at. You can also choose whether you want it to capture um, your, your mouse's cursor or not. Um, encoder. This is the other part. You can do no compression on here, which is just like using Fraps, where it is going to be a huge, huge file size, um, but you're not going to have any type of quality loss whatsoever. You can do low compression, or you can do MJPEG. I use MJPEG. If you go to encoder setup, you can select the quality. Um, 100 is the best, but it's the slowest and the biggest file size. 50 is the worst, but it's faster and it's a smaller file size. I go with 85 and I wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. And then compression threads, all that does is that determines how many processors, how many of your computer's processors' cores do you want to use to uh, run this program to record with. 
for example, I'm running an eight core processor, an, an AMD eight core processor. So I'm using four of my cores are set aside specifically for play claw to use for recording my gameplay. That leaves me with basically a quad core for the gaming and with the graphics card I have, that's no problem at all. If you have a four core processor, you might want to go with two, which is the default that play claw sets to. Um, which records fine um, in this like if you have everything set up how I do it'll record no problem on two cores um, at least I have been and I have no problems but I just bumped it to four just to make sure um, audio under the audio settings it lists all your different audio sources you can see microphone here it's enabled uh, Realtek digital output I have it enabled and Samsung one this is my HDMI cord I have that enabled um, so it captures the, the sources from whatever ones you want. You can disable or, or enable by selecting the little box here after you select one of them. Um, and that's how you do it. And then you can also set it so that it captures only while you're holding down a key um, by clicking this. Or you can just have it capture all the time, which is what it does. And then these down here, these aren't too important. One of them is transformed to stereo. If you're using a mono device, which I don't know very many people that would be, you can click that and it'll make it... Uh, stereo and then you can also have mixed sources into one track or write all audio tracks in separate wave files if you turn off mixed sources in one track what that does is each thing that you have enabled it makes it write it to a separate wave file what that does is that's actually how I record gameplay if I'm recording uh, with a microphone my voice at the same time because then what that does is it gives me one wave file with just my voice that's coming through the microphone and then it also gives me another wave file that has all the video game audio that way once I go to edit it I have more control over making sure that my voice is loud enough for everybody to hear over the gameplay uh, volume so if you want everything though to be mixed into one track you can just check that box advanced settings all this does is let you use alternative open gl code um, you know it's just a a way to speed up if, if open gl works better for you if your graphics card does open gl and that works better than just using it the normal way you can click that and it'll use that instead uh, and then under here all this is is this is your overlay settings this is where all your stuff appears on the actual game screen when you have the load the game loaded up um, as you can see here my frames per second shows what I'm getting frames per second wise in the game like what the game's actually running at will be in the top left corner how long I've been recorded and how much time will be right under that and then further down the list you have some other stuff which you can see by going into all of it or whatever but you just have uh, like your GPUs the uh, temperature of it and, and how much of it's you know how much of the cores processors being used of it my CPU same thing uh, the temperature of it and how much of it's being used but you can have all that stuff displayed on the screen while you're playing the game um, it's really unobtrusive and it's nice having all that information on the left hand side of the screen while I'm playing a game to keep track of everything uh, but that's it guys um, it's just you know play claw 4 um, you know I think it's better than fraps has a lot of nice options does things really really well um, I definitely recommend checking it out I think it's like 30 bucks for the license I don't remember exactly off the top of my head but I believe it's like 30 bucks for the license it's it's definitely worth it if you're planning on um, you know recording computer games recording you know games on your computer you know whether it be World of Warcraft or Diablo 3 or whatever computer games you might be playing um, Playclaw 4 to me is definitely the best choice over Fraps. Um, I've done extensive work with both of them. And although you lose, ju I mean, I just want to make it very clear. The file size is, is a lot smaller than Fraps. And the video quality difference is, is very, very minute. I mean, in, unless you're really, really looking at your screen and comparing two uh, videos, you really don't even notice the difference between the two. So yeah I would definitely check it out um, I would definitely it's the program you know I would use if I was recording gameplay um, if you need you know free you know I believe you can get fraps uh, free all over the internet play calls a little harder to find for free um, so you probably are gonna have to buy it but if if you have the, the 30 bucks I mean it's definitely a great program to own alright guys so that ends this uh, video tutorial on using Playclaw 4 to record your gameplay um, I just want to thank you guys for watching these videos make sure you subscribe to our channel as we are releasing a new video every week that gives tips and tricks on recording your own gameplay uh, 
and so you won't want to miss that. So make sure you subscribe. Also, if this video helped you out, please give it a like as it really helps us out in terms of spreading the word. And hey, even maybe share it on your Facebook or something for us. We appreciate all the help you guys give us in helping us grow. And we just thank you guys for being subscribers and for watching. All right, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in the game.